Mm -hmm. So the next thing we're going to coverage we're going to talk about is um, man match one high, otherwise known as cover one. Cover one's a man match one high defense. Okay, it's a middle of the field coverage defense, unlike cover six, which is a split field coverage defense. Everything, everybody's playing cover one. It's a full field coverage. Okay, it's a full field coverage. Okay, and then we're going to use our middle field dividers. So you're going to, we're going to talk a lot more about playing with divider leverage, right? Whether we're playing outside the trail, inside and on top, we're going to talk about playing a lot more with divider leverage because we got middle of the field help. I got middle of the field help. Okay, so I want to follow everybody to the middle of the field. All right, the first thing we need to talk about when it comes to cover one. is what we need to do versus two back. Okay, so the first thing first, the corner is going to be playing man-to-man, -man, Meg, right? Man-to-man, -man. they'll be playing one by one with divider leverage, so inside or outside based on the divider, man-to-man. -man. Free states will be in the middle of the field, um, he'll walk out to 14 yards by the snap of the football. He's a middle field defender. All right, the strong safety has number two to the strong side. Okay, the strong safety has number two to the strong side. If number two is in the core, if number two is in the core, all right, he's going to call rat, rat, rat. The Mike linebacker. The will linebacker, okay, the Mike linebacker, the will linebacker, and the weak safety are going to play what they call it, what we call a three on two funnel. A three on two funnel on the backs. We got three on two. This is called a funnel. Okay, it's called a funnel. The will and the Mike will stack over the guards, okay, they couldn't, they can move their alignment over based on your front. But they're usually going to stack over the guards at five yards, and the weak safety is going to be five by one to five by three outside the tackle. Okay, in cover one, he needs to be five by one to five by three outside the tackle. He can't start at eight to ten yards. He needs to be down. Okay. The strong safety is going to play man to man on number one. The strong safety is going to play man to man on number one. Okay. The will, Mike, and weak safety have back out rules. So. The weak safety and the mic have the first back out to their side. First back out to their side. Okay. In this situation, the will has the second back out to either side. Whoever doesn't have a back, so in this situation, be the will linebacker, is going to be what we call a rat in the hole. What we call a rat in the hole. The hole is the same hole as cover three. Okay, it's 10 to 15 yards deep over the center vision in the quarterback. 10 to 15 yards deep over the center vision in the quarterback. Okay. Whoever the whole player is, is going to be alert for um, shallow crossers. We're going to cut the first shallow crosser. We're going to cut the first shallow crosser. So the strong safety alerts rat. The will is going to be the whole defender. We're playing our funnel technique. So they split the mic. Has the first back out, the weak safety is the second back out. First back out, I'm sorry, get <laughs> their side. If, if the tight end goes under, the strong safety yell, right, right, right. That tells the right, I'm going to go cut the crosser. The strong safety is not going to robot. Remember, robot means roll and run to find the drag or dig. He's going to robot to the hole, looking to find the drag or dig coming the other way. Okay? So I'm going to draw this up again. 
draw this up again. Corners are in mag with divider leverage. Strong safety has a tight end. A guy in the core is going to yell rat. Okay. Well, the mic. Weak safety. We're playing a funnel. We're playing a funnel. Free safety in the middle of the field. If they split, will the linebackers the rat? They'll cut crossers. First back out, first back out. We get an under route. We're going to call rat, rat, rat. He'll cut the crosser. Strong safety or robot. Strong safety or robot. Roll and run to find dragger day. Okay? If we were to get both backs going the same side, right? Remember the remaining player, whoever the remaining player is between the weak safety mic and uh, Will is the rat. So if both backs went strong, we got strong flow. We got strong flow. Okay? The mic would take the first back out, the will would take the second back out. Now the weak safety is going to be the rat. When he yells rat, 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 he's going to cut the crosser and we'll roll out with the strong safety. We'll roll out with the strong safety. Okay? We'll roll out with the strong safety. Another example weak side flow. Weak side flow. Weak side flow, corners are playing divider leverage. Weak safety is five by three, strong safety is five by three. Will and Mike are stacked, free safety in the middle of the field. Okay, weak flow, weak safety has the first back out, Will has the second back out, Mike becomes the rat. Mike becomes the rat. Okay, we get some type of crosser, we go rat, 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 we'll roll out to the hole, and we'll cut the crosser. We'll cut the crosser, okay? We'll cut the crosser. Anyone can become the robot player. Anybody can come become the robot player. What do I mean? If, for example, if the X ran the shallow crosser, if the X ran the shallow crosser, okay? Mike has first back out to his side. He blocks. I have him. Weak safety got the first back out to my side. That means the will's the rat in the hole. He's the rat. Corner runs. He yells rat, rat, rat. Cut the crosser. Corner becomes the rat, the robot player. The corner becomes the robot player. Strong safety has man-to-man -man on the number two. Unless his guy goes inside. Unless his guy goes inside and shallow. Unless your guy goes shallow, inside, you have your guy man to man. You have your guy man to man. Unless he goes under, shallow, you have him man to man. Okay? Let's take another way we can do this out of two back is what we call fox. So fox is another way, usually done out of eye backs. So in fox, fox means fullback flow. So now what's going to happen is the weak safety is going to be 10 by 1 outside the tackle. Emo, free safety is going to be 10 by 1 outside the emo. Strong safety is going to be still five, 1 to 5 by 3 outside the tight end. He's going to still alert the rat. Will and the mic are now going to have what we call a fiddle. A fiddle is a two-on-one on a back, whereas a funnel is a three-on-two. So now they're going to fiddle the deepest back. So they're going to play, they're going to play their fiddle on the deepest back. The weak safety and free safety are going to fox the fullback. If the fullback goes to my side, I have a man-to-man. -man. If the fullback goes away, I become the middle field defender. So in this example, Fullback goes away. Let's say the back goes and they, they split the flow, what we call boot pass, and they run boot. Weak safety, fullback went to my side. Mike linebacker, the running back, the tailback went to my side. That means the will is now the rat in the hole. 
He's now the whole defender. Okay, 10 to 15 yards of the center. Let's say now they run the crosser. Strong safety. He's going to run. He's going to yell, rat, rat, rat. Well, the linebacker's going to take the rat. He's going to roll out, play the hole. He's going to roll out, play the hole. Looking for any crossers coming back the other way. Okay, that way we still make three levels. <laughs> we still make three levels when they try to give us multiple levels. Okay. Okay. So out of a two by two set, out of a two by two set, it's a two on one with the will and the mic. They're stacked. They're going to play a fiddle. Okay. Whatever side the bat goes to, that. That player, the will of the mic has the back. Whoever he goes away from, he's the whole defender. Corners are playing mag with divider leverage. Corners are playing mag with divider leverage. Okay? Safeties are playing man to man with divider leverage. Five by if we decide to bump, a lot of times what'll happen is we'll play when we play man figure out the hole versus two receivers. We will uh we'll play bump man to man with the strong of the weak safety. Okay? We'll play bump man to man with the strong and the weak safety. We'll play bump man to man with the strong and the weak safety. You don't have to. You don't have to. Okay, you can play off just like you do in cover three, be five by one, um, outside or using divider leverage off of the number two. So in this situation, if they were inside the divider, we'd be outside. If they're outside the divider, we'd be inside. Use your divider leverage all the way down the field. If they're out inside the divider, we're in the outside trail. Outside the divider, I'm gonna be inside on top. Okay? Still got a middle field safety. So, an example. Back flares, Mike. Back one to my side, I got him. Strong safety. I'm gonna say rat, rat, rat. My whole player is the rat, and the hole is gonna cut the crosser. My strong safety, you're a robot. Looking for the dragger dead. Weak safety, he's not under. I'm gonna take a man to man. So now we got three levels, one, two, three, for the three level route, just like cover three. We got one, two, three for the three level route, just like cover three. But it's not cover three, this is really important. This is man to man, it's a man match principle. This is a man match principle, okay? This is a man match principle. This is a man match principle. Because if we were playing cover three, the strong safety would take the, the back, Right? The strong safe would take the back. The will would still take him through the hook, and the mic would be the one that robots. The mic would be the one that robots. Another example. example we're fiddling off the backs and fiddle corners are playing one by one with divider leverage strong safety and weak safety are playing five by one with divider leverage free safety is playing in the middle of the field okay start at 10 walk to 14 well and Mike are stacked at five yards they're gonna fiddle off the back corners have one weak safety strong safety have two free safety in the middle field defender another example back flares you get a cross coming from the same side. Boom, boom, boom. Three level route. Now, the weak saves you yell, rat, rat, rat. The mic has the bat. This is not a zone match. He's gonna, not going to wait in the curl or anything. He's going to go get the bat. The will becomes the rat in the hole. He now cuts the, rat, cuts the crosser. And. The weak safety robots for the driver dig. Strong safety, you got two man to man. There's no fast three rule or any of that because you got two man to man. Three by one. We always match the numbers and cover one, meaning I'm always going to rotate my, my weak and uh, free safety to the multiple receiver side. So I always rotate strong. Corners are in May. Divider leverage. 
one by one. You can be off, fail, but you're one by one. Strong safety, you have two with divider leverage, five by one. Free safety has three. We always rotate to the uh, to uh, strong towards the multiple receiver side. We never rotate weak. So free safety, you would have number three with divider leverage. So in this situation, you're going to be 78 yards off, one yard outside with divider leverage because he's inside the divider. Will and Mike, you fiddle the back. Weak safety is now the middle of the field player. Weak safety is now the middle of the field player. Okay, weak safety is now the middle of the field player. Okay. Example of possible rap. We get a shallow and a dig and a post. Okay, back flares. Mike, you have the back. Free safety. You have the number three, strong safety. You're going to yell, rat, rat, rat. I'm going to robot for the driver dig. Will, backs away. I have, I'm the whole defender. I hear you, rat, rat, rat. I'm going to cut the crosser. I'm going to cut the crosser. I'm going to cut the crosser. Okay? I'm going to cut the crosser. Let's say the back was the other way. It would be the opposite direction. So back is now weak. Back is now weak. All right, we're fiddling on the back. Corners playing one by one with divider <laughs> leverage. Strong safety is playing five by one with divider leverage. Free safety is playing um, eight, seven to eight yards off with divider leverage, outside leverage in this situation. Will and Mike are playing stacked. That goes weak. Will would have them. We get the rat call. We get the rat call by the strong safety. He's going to roll by. Free safety stand in the middle of the field. Mike would now be the whole defender because the back went weak. I'm going to take the rat in the hole. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut the crosser. I'll cut the crosser. Free safety, your man to man with divider leverage on three. Your man to man with divider leverage on three. Okay. How do we handle stacks becomes the next question. How do you handle stacks in bunches? How do you handle stacks in bunches if you get stacks? Stacks and bunches, there are two ways you can do it. You can lock and level, or you can point versus a stack. We do not, we do not, so this would be an example of a lock and level. This would be an example of a point. Okay, as a reminder, Corners playing with the leverage of, with divider leverage now on the number one receiver. Playing divider leverage on the number one receiver. If we're playing lock and level, okay. Full press on the number one. Divider leverage, man to man. Strong safety playing divider leverage on the number two receiver. Man to man, possible rat call. Okay, if we're playing point. If we're playing point, now the corner's playing the leverage of the number two because he has the back man. He has him man-to-man -man playing full press. Strong safety's playing the opposite leverage of the corner, playing seven by one in man-to-man. -man. Everybody has the possibility of a rat call, of having to rat and be the robot player. Rat and be the robot player. So we're going to fiddle on the back. Back goes weak. Mike, you got him. Will, you become the whole player. Number one goes across. Corners, you go rat, rat, rat. He will roll out to the hole. The rat will cut the crosser. Okay? The rat will cut the crosser. He's robotting. If we get another shallow, if you get two shallows, the robot player will cut the next crosser. He'll always cut the second crosser. So I got two shallows, I'll cut the second crosser. And now, 
In this situation, the weak safety rib robot. Safety take a man to man with the viral leverage. Free safety is going to play on top so he can play the post route. You do not play in and out. You do not play in and out when you play cover one. The reason is, is you got right in the hole help. You got middle of the field help in the low hole. We call it right in the hole. So if you play in and out and the safety's playing inside leverage, you're playing double, look, double the leverage. You both have a right in the hole and you have a guy inside. He can't cut the crosser that way. He can't cut the crosser like that. Okay, the right can't. And your safety cannot robot if you play in and out. Okay, to, dra to roll and run to find the drag or day. So if you're playing cover one, you got to play lock and love. You got to play point. You cannot play in and out. You cannot play in and out. If we're playing a bunch, we play traffic. If we're playing a bunch, we play traffic. Okay, there are different options of playing a bunch, but the base one we play is traffic. Now, corner seven by one, outside the number one. The Remember, we always rotate to the most number of receivers, so in this situation, we're rotating strong with the free safety. He's going to be seven by one. Head up to slightly inside the three, okay? We're playing the in and out principle on one and three. Our strong safety can play divider leverage, press full press man to man. So he'll be as tight as possible playing slight outside leverage. Okay, playing man to man. He plays straight man to man. Okay. If it's a tight split, he would alert rack. He'd alert the rack. Will and Mike are still fiddling on the back. Same rules. It's a two-on-one. Corner on the backside, divider leverage, playing Meg one by one. Weak safety on the middle of the field defender. All right, here we go. Mike, I'm going to take the swing. Will, you're going to become the rat in the hole. Okay? Let's say I get a shallow by two, a dig by one, and a corner by three. Well, strong safety, yell, rat, rat, rat. He's going to robot for the hole. Will linebacker is the hole player. He has to cut the rat in the hole. Okay? Uh, remember, when we play the in and out principle, after five yards, you have your guys man to man. So in this situation, these routes are going past five yards. So the free safety is going to stay on number two, on number three. The corner will stay on one, knowing he has inside help. What's the route that's difficult? The corner route by three. That's how we play bunch. We call it traffic. We play traffic versus bunch. That's how you play cover one. Some options on how to play cover one. Anybody can play the rat in the hole. So, for example, you can play cover one and you can have your will linebacker play divider leverage on the number number two to the weak side. Your strong safety play divider leverage to the uh, playing man to man on the two to the strong side. Now you could have your might playing man to man on the back. You can have your free and your weak safety. I can put my weak safety and make him the rat and the whole player. So I can make him the whole player. So now he would cut the crossers. That's called one cross. Free safety to the middle field defender. I can play one clue. One clue now says whatever sides the back is on, the, the free or the weak safety are going to play the fiddle okay, with the mic. So, for example, if the back's to the free safety side, the free safety is going to come down. He's going to play the fiddle. Weak safety to the middle field player. So, if the back were to go this way, free safety has him, Mike's right in the hole. The back were to cross. Free safety become the rat, Mike would have them. All the cover rules that apply. Whoever the whole defender always has to cut the crosser. The first crosser. Right? 
So in this situation, let's say he crossed, the will would become the robot player. He has to cut second crossers, right? So he robot cut the second crosser. Free safety cut the first crosser. Strong safety robot for the for the high hole check and drag or dig. Okay, those are some variations of cover one. Like I said, um, it's a man match one high divider leverage scheme. Um, aggressive man to man coverage. It's the best coverage in football if you can do it. Man free route in the hole is the best coverage in ball if you can do it. Bump man to man. Man free route in the hole is the best coverage in ball if you can do it. All right, the last type of motion we're going to talk about is when we're playing some type of cover one, uh, man free, uh, and we're handling motion. Okay? Playing cover one, handling motion. Corners are playing one by one with divider leverage inside or outside. Safeties are playing five by one with divider leverage. Okay? Free safety in the middle field, you got the wheel, got the mic. Okay? Playing cover one. Right, in this case, we're going to give it a read a call. We're going to give it a read a call. On motion, when we play cover one or any type of man to man, okay, not when we play some type of man to man, cover one or man to man, we run with motion. We run with motion, okay. Our general rule if you, if you, are off the line of scrimmage, you will run behind the linebackers. Behind the linebackers. If you're in a press position, so if I'm a corner, and an inverted look, if I'm a corner, and I'm in a press style position, or I'm a safety in a press style position, and he runs, I'm going to run in front of the backers. Okay? So if you're in a press position, you will run in front of the backers. If you're in an off position, we'll run behind the linebackers. But we will run with motion. We will run with motion. Okay? Now, the will and the mic are fiddling or funneling the back, depending on if it's two backs or one back. If it's one back, if it's one back and we get some type of motion, Okay, the guy to the side of the motion is going to take him. So whoever side the back motion's out to, he's going to take the guy man to man. The will will become the whole defender. He'll be the whole lone, the lone whole defender. Okay, we don't bump motion. We don't bump motion when we're playing some type of man to man. Okay, cover one or straight man to man when we get into our blitz stuff. All right, we don't bump the motion. We don't spin the motion. Okay. If they motion into a stack, so if they motion into a stack, we will make our stack check on the run. The number one stack check we play is lock and level. So most of the time what we're going to do in cover one is we're going to play lock and level. Okay? Versus motion into a stack. So the corner would stay on his number, his player. The safety would stay on his player. We do this to keep our leverages properly. If they're motion the number one inside, I want my corner to be in a trail position because we got a rat in the hole. Okay? I want my safety to be able to stay outside leverage on the number two. Okay? Don't play in and out. If you play in and out when you have a rat in the hole, you're losing the rat. Okay? This also applies for when we're playing and motioning to bunch. So if they're in a stack and they're going to motion into a bunch, okay? We're going to start in, for example, we're starting in point. They motion to bunch, okay? They motion to bunch. The two player will take the point. So whoever the guy is that has, that has the guy who's on the line of scrimmage, he will go press the point. Whoever's off the ball, whatever receiver off the ball, they will play the in and out in the traffic. They will play the in and out in the traffic. They will play the in and out in the traffic. 
Okay? So another example would be, another example would be, so let's say we were playing lock and level. I'm playing lock and level now. Corner's here, safety's here. Lock and level. Motion happens, I'm going to run. Corner's, corner has the guy who's up front, so he's going to press the point, and we will play this like traffic. We will bump in this situation. We will now bump the strong safety or whoever the nearest safety is out, okay, to play the traffic. It's the only time we will bump with anything when it comes to man to man, okay? So we will bump the safety over to play the traffic because we know that that number three is going to probably go on the out and play traffic, okay, and play traffic. That's how we handle motion in man to man, okay? So if you have your man and you're in a press position, you're going to go, you're going to go underneath the linebackers. If you're in an off position, you're going to go over the top of the linebackers. You're going to go over the top of the linebackers, okay? You're going to go over the top of the linebackers. You're always going to run in a trail position, meaning you're going to always run slightly behind the motion man. Don't run in front of him. Run slightly behind him. Run slightly behind him, okay? Always run slightly behind him. On his backside hip. Will and Mike, you'll take the back out. Last situation I want to talk about, let's say we're in a fox or a funnel and we get back out motion. So we're in a fox or a funnel and we get back out motion. So example, we're in a funnel. We're in a funnel. Okay? You will take your back out rule. So in this situation, the weak safety would have this back out, the first back out to his side, Mike Linebacker would have the first back out to his side. If they motion across the formation, if they motion across, okay? Mike, you have the first back out to your side. Will and weak safety, you will play the fiddle. Will and weak safety, you will play the fiddle. You can game plan how you want to play it. Here's why. If they're motioning like that and then they're running the ball, you're going to force your will to play in the box. You don't want your will, to, or I'm sorry, your weak safety, not your will. You're going to force your weak safety to play in the box. If you don't want your weak safety playing in the box, what you can do is you can say, if it starts on my side, he's, he's my back. So if the motion started on my side of the formation, I'm going to go take him, the will and the mic can play the fiddle. Okay? If it started on my side, I'll take him, will and Mike will play the fiddle. If we got a fox, for example, against eyebacks, we got a fox technique. Okay? The will and the mic will handle the tailback on motion, and the weak safety and the free safety will handle the fullback on motion. Okay? So, in this situation, the free safety is handling the fullback, the wills handle the tailback, and the mic's the rat in the hole. The mic's the rat in the hole. Okay? The mic's the white rat in the hole. So those are some of the ways in which we play motion in cover one. Okay, remember we run with motion in cover one and man-to-man -man coverages. Okay, and our man match stuff, our split field <laughs> cover six, we bump and we don't change the passing strength. The hammer side, cover two stays the hammer side. The cover four side will change their call based on if it's twins, flanker, or trips, three receivers. Okay. But they will not, they will not switch to a cover two side. We won't change the passing strength. In cover three, we will change the passing strength and we will either bump or spin. Okay, if we're spinning, we're going to probably be playing Mabel. If we're bumping, we're probably going to be playing Skate. Okay. And then the last thing to be ready for is you may have to motion into a stack or bunch check. May get motion into a stack or bunch check. So you have to be ready for that. Those are the, the ways we handle motion in cover one, cover three, and cover six.